on YouTube if you subscribe and everybody else the remaining social network. This is Dark King, and today we're going to continue this last play of stories. The Humanoid Pack for Mod Masters, you know, for the brief time that uh, it's still happening. Again, it's unfortunate that this series ends when 2.0 comes out. And I made a decision. I said that I was going to do an unmodded version once Apocalypse came out. I'm revising that slightly. I will use a different ship set, and everything else will be unmodded. So, no Star Forge, no planets, no buffs, no nothing. Just a purely, just a purely base game with an addition. Well, not so much an addition. A change in the ship that's being used. Anyway, so right now I was kicking ass and taking names to further secure my little corner of the galaxy. Okay, let's see. Okay, good. Oh, fair enough. Uh, wow, I've been equating that part of the ring world. Huh. Sure. Again, I could specialize this, guys. I could specialize. Ah! Dang it! I could spe specialize them! No idea why that was so hard to say. And get quite a pretty buck. But let's face it. No, need, no real need right now. At least for that one. I may do it. In the future. Once I build a ring world myself. But right now, uh, eh, there's just no need for it. Okay, let's see what else. Symbol of Unity, obviously. And I'll be back later. Let's see, anywhere else? Yeah, I have been neglecting this one as well. Hmm, so much food. I'm going to allow this one to be hydroponics, and you go there. Hmm. Actually, you're fine here. All right, build pop. Though, that's not to say I won't be doing a modded version. I mean, 2.0 is a complete, basically a complete revamp of the game in of itself, so it's obviously going to take a bit for the modders to catch up. And once they do, oh yes, 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 I fully intend to take advantage of all the mods that's going to come with it. It's going to be awesome. Alright, that's all of them. Okay, let's see. Internal research. More energy circuit patches, more power plant. Yeah, basically the... The ancient power generator units. And these guys. Neat. You know, another thing that I'm really, really happy about is the fact that in 2.0... The speed, the sublight speed, is gonna be increased rather dramatically. And 
And that's awesome. Because, if you noticed, one of the bigger problems here is... Well, my ships take a lot of time to go from point A to point B in a system. And a flat increase is gonna go a long way. I had helping, helping alleviate that problem. I actually tried to find a mod that increased. Oddly enough, I couldn't find any. Also, once 2.0 comes out, uh, I really hope some of the currently not fully operational mods get, uh, you know, some extra attention. Ah, frack, are you kidding me? Because of what he goes. <sighs> These guys are getting so annoying. Actually, another mod I might want to keep is the speed dialing. Because just going to the interface... It takes me four or five clicks. It's just a quality of life thing. Actually, I can't believe this, that this wasn't implemented in the base game. Sheesh, where did all my friends go? Oh, Structure ship, never mind. Science ship. Okay, the other one is. That can wait. Hmm. Okay, so the spaceport's gonna die. And I've got enough. Good. Just let me check something. Finishing. Finishing. Finished. And build the next part of the Dyson Sphere. Let's see. What you're finishing is the last. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Isn't it? And again, probably not in this format, but we will begin building Dyson Spheres in the next millennium. Well, beginning is probably the end of this century, but, well, proper Dyson Spheres take a really long time to get up to speed. We probably build uh, a ring around the sun, a literal ring of uh, particle collectors that's it's called solar lifting. And some uh, good old fusion. Yeah. Not necessarily the fusion as in getting energy, but uh, big screw you particle accelerators throwing plasma at each other to create fusion. Sure, it still brings... Oh, my bad. It still generates uh, some energy, but nowhere near enough to be an effective power source. That's the sun's job. I mean... We're quite literally over a star. Alright. If we assume that we're... In a ring where it's basically Earth's gravity... That's quite a lot of space. Even if the whole thing takes, say, 20 kilometers... Meters by one kilometer... A ring of those things around the sun by the one kilometer part... That's... Billions to trillions of the things. Not to mention, with the uh, uh, with the right protection, you know, uh, about ten meters of solid rock, which honestly we won't be doing much with up there in space. We have to. Well, not really. The Kuiper Belt has plenty of crap we won't be using. So, just bring it to the source system and build a habitat around the sun. There. It's scientifically possible. It wouldn't even require any kind of new science. It would just take a lot of time and a lot of brute force. Ooh, nice. Neat. Okay. Do your thing.
Okay, and the other is started. Good. All right, I recruited a bunch of people, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, can you jump directly? You can, good. Huh, and after this war is over, I need to really, really start focusing on rebuilding the fleet. Oh, the South War is almost done. Heck yes, heck yes, heck yes. Ah, beautiful. Like I said, once we start building Star Forges, there's a chance that we do it like this, but not uh, at the polar ends of the sun, more around the equator. Several of these stations orbiting and collecting a solar matter to then fuse. Maybe interconnected, that would be possible. Not necessarily. how we would go about it, but Star Rifting is scientifically possible. It doesn't require any science. Yes! Energy output nominal. Show it to me. And again, it's kind of sad that the modders didn't account for this. I cannot build because on the other two, which is BS. If we found a dual system, obviously we would be Dyson. We would build Dyson fields around every single star. I mean, come on! Free resources and free energy? Are you kidding me? Of course we would. Okay, let's see. Okay, self-sustaining, self-sustaining, bunch of unity, and... Uh, so, power, power, power. This is a mining one. Actually... Okay, that's all fine and dandy. But, time. If I'm going to... Do it... I'm gonna do it right. Okay, power. I got point two. No! Frack! I misclicked. <sighs> Dang it! That's so lame! Well, so much for symmetry, then. <sighs> really? I can't believe that happened. That's so lame! Whatever.
Man, I hate when that happens. Okay, you're useless. Can you jump? Good. Oh, you are. Oh, wait, you're space pirates. Never mind. Okay, let's see. You're here, so let's see. Let's begin by punching these guys in the face. Okay, you're still waiting for the army. So, you punch him, then him, then him. Okay, good. That should be a good start. After you're finishing cleaning up the rabble, you can go and kick their ass. Which would be, which will be rather easy. And then go right, let's see, here. Perfect. Okay. Have your orders, carry them out. And the Star Forge is complete. <laughs> With a production of 4.2k! Not anywhere near enough for what I want to do, but hey, bloody details. Okay, good. Now, focusing on the other Dyson Sphere, so I can have a good energy production. Nothing new. Alright, what's the hold up? They're coming. Okay, cool. Now, the question is what do I want to do next? I could add another. I could have another Star Forge, you know, making it even more ridiculous. But you know what? It was something I'm missing. I found and repaired the science array, but I didn't ever build my own. And I want to do it. Just for the heck of it. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, doesn't fear science nexus. <laughs> I can look around any planet. Except, you know, those others. I can't do it here because probably it isn't included in those that I can't. So, let's build a science nexus. Another one. Because I need more science. That's it. And let's face it, it's something that deserves to be in the home world. Along with the century array would also deserve to be here, except, you know, my home system is kinda... You know. I mean, think about it. It's the best, it's the most central and most heavily protected system on your empire, your, you know, your capital. The uh, the nexus around the sun and the science array around the, the your biggest gas giant. It makes perfect sense. Okay, the frame is going along well. Also, remind me. 
Yeah, I know. That stupid misclick aside. Yeah, that's what I want to confirm. So yeah, while I wait for... Oh, for crying out what now? Wait, Klaus, really? <sighs> this guy becoming more of a pain than it's worth keeping around. Again, it's a mid-game crisis, basically. And they're quite far away, so... Actually, I'm interested if, to see... Good. About time they got there. Okay, so they're gonna die to the star to the spaceport. Good. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Okay, uh, remind me again. There was one more planet, wasn't it? Yeah, there was. Oh, boys, you know what to do. You're already going to take out the other fleets. Everybody quit for that. So. Not you. The Void Clouds. So, yeah. Revenge, sweet, sweet revenge. <laughs> the way cause has absolutely no defense against missiles. Now oh, then because of the difference in range. They're gonna get wrecked before they can do anything. Which is good. Good. And ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw was a rig targeting system at work. It's another thing I didn't understand why it wasn't in the base game. I mean, think about it. Any intelligent race worse than Saul to with this kind of technology. Would definitely program missiles to redirect themselves once their target got destroyed. The other thing I'm looking forward to is the Citadel and the st Research station lost. in 2.0. It kind of shake up things quite a bit, but oh, the fleet manager. That's a wet dream come true. That's not bit around a bush. It just is. Huh? Ah. Ah well. Oh well, well, well. Okay, good. Victory. So, are they, tired of, are they tired of getting their asses kicked yet? Unfortunately, no, they're not. Then again, considering the... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Again!
Okay, good. They're invading my homeworld! Again! Oh well, at least they're small. Oh, they're all small fries. Oh, let's just see how this ends before I start actually finishing the further upgrades that I need. I think I'm gonna lose this one. Unfortunate. Uh, maybe not. And they're all focusing on the... No, I think, maybe not. Woo! Saved by the bell. So to speak. Okay, good. I didn't lose, didn't lose anybody. Just barely, though. Cool, what did I get? Alright, fair enough. Let's see. What do I want next? Not working, unfortunately. <laughs> Brigus Death World. Guard sector systems. No, I don't need any more right now. Not until I get the Super Duper Ring World, so. And even then, this one's the real one. This one will come back eventually. I'm not in a hurry. Okay, they're already doing the business. In the meantime, well, they're doing what they can, but that's simply not enough. Oh great, again froze again. Oh well, well, well I wait for the game to get back in business. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a stomp. Complete another stomp. <laughs> oh that's gonna be interesting. Really? Who? Oh. Okay. Okay, so yeah, they're getting their ass kicked. By the really, really big lasers of my spaceports. The annoying part is, well, I'm gonna have to rebuild this, all of this again. And I get froze again. What the heck? Eh, whatever. All right, the coolest part of the build's going along nicely. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Just inside. Just barely inside. Have a bear world almost touching the Dyson Sphere. That's funny. Hmm, I could. I must have been doing good. Would be actually quite interesting. See, I don't get it. Why did this freeze happen? Hmm. Well, so close to their star. This isn't really surprising. Of 
What an entire computer, though. Hmm. Okay, you're good and operational. You're still increasing the size. Oh, for crap, wild, what the heck? <sighs> Give me a second, people. And we're back. Odds. Indeed. Okay, good. They're almost done. Okay, good. Let's see. Because of body course. Okay, you go repair that, and you go repair that. Can I build anything? I could, but I'm not. Okay, good. Now that that's done. I mean, it's annoying when I have to rebuild this. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm quite curious we, what uh, the community comes up with in 2.0. For what I heard, new ship classes and more, it's gonna get some... Uh, Streamlining, not the actual streamlined mod, the, the main one is gonna, you know, get streamlined. Oh, I did lose one. Blame. They're cutting out some of the features to focus more on the new ships. Huh, hopefully they don't take out the ability to build your own planets, that was one of my favorite things. Well, somebody doesn't like us. Anyway, job's getting done. Well, go. And one slaughter later, and bleh. Victory! Okay, now that's done. Let's see who's next on the list. Well, the closest one is this one. So, how many? Ooh! Actually, since I'm coming from here. Oh, actually, that works even better. I can eradicate this fleet to stomp uh, their civilian ships, get rid of this one, and the, after this one's done, I'm relatively close to the jump point. So, this works quite well. In the meantime, uh, how are you doing? Stomping their fleets. Like there is no tomorrow. 
Well, actually, you're technically just Titan lasering their fleets out. <laughs> actually, that's the mod I'm interested in. Since actual Titans and Titan weapons are coming in, I wonder how the mod are gonna redo this. Or if he's even going to alter it. Oh, you poor thoughts. You're seriously outclassed here. <laughs> you know, it really is a dark pleasure. Actually, being on the receiving end of those things, it's just watching them wreck my enemies. It's beautiful. Well, one of the fleets wise nothing got away. Smart. These ones weren't as intelligent. And they're suffering for it. And that Nice. Okay, so let's see. I lost eight chips, then I lost a heck of a lot more. Okay, keep on the chase now. Another one. Huh. Guess that system is a breeding ground for the Void Clouds. Interesting. Okay, good. Okay, it's repaired. Excellent. Uh, there was a fleet here, right? Well, once upon a time, maybe, but now he's just wrecked. <laughs> I was seeing just a stupid broadside from the SSD. And it's 100% war friendly, which is even funnier. Okay, you're doing their thing. Still a bit to go. Well, let's play this up then. <sighs> Bad position, I suppose. <laughs> let's not face it, this looks freaking awesome. Just the four planets linked with these massive space stations. It could actually be an arc if you think about it. Linked by gravitational fields. They didn't want to leave their planet behind. So... They didn't. Which is quite an interesting story. Not definitively. Alright, um... Yo, science vessel, you're not doing anything, so... Ah, 3%, run with that. Oh, no, it was... Really? Wasn't I at 70 already? Huh, guess not.
And the pounding continues. Okay, good, 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 good. Excellent. I can't believe I misclicked like that. I mean, seriously. Okay, good. Almost done. And here's the upgrades showing all their wars. And again, per 5% less, it's totally worth it. Anyway, these two will be finishing in the next months, which is awesome. Still gonna take a while, unfortunate. Wait. Wow, that was fast. Oh wait, these are never mind, these were the other ones. Ah, still got plenty of time, right? Well not really. So, do I want to risk science in vessels? Well, I could easily enough if I just decide to leave these guys in aggressive stance. Okay, what's your problem? You already have a project, so... I know it isn't the best option, but it will do for now. And the bombardment continues, good. Okay, it's almost done. I got enough for the next round. And then some. Hmm, 4.4. Most of the problem here is energy, since it, that's also a factor. Which obviously this Titan Sphere should account for. I mean, they're gonna give me an extra thousand, that's a lot to work with. Okay, how much? Ah, it's good. Let's go. Hmm. Do we work on land battles? Now that's something I'm interested in seeing how it works. And most importantly, if it works. Because those changes sound interesting, mostly from a visual standpoint, since it's gonna give me, it's gonna give us some more stuff to think about. I 
Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see. Sector limit. Not interested. Not needed. No, they're me up, Kip. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I am getting up uh, on the number. This is a terrible resource. Now, nah, military academy first. It's only four months. And here comes the stomping. Good. Okay, next on the list, there's two more planets in system that need conquering. And are science ships here yet? Okay, you're arriving and you're next. Good. Ah, I really hope they hurry up and get tired of losing. I need to conquer six more planets. Which is annoying, considering I want to finish this war this episode. So that I can start building a massive fleet next one. I've been watching these guys have two things in my space for long enough. I want to take these guys out afterwards. And you know, connect this for obvious reasons. Hmm, they didn't take it. Odd. Oh, heck yes. And next round. Again, I could build another one. How much do you... Oh, never mind. Priorities, my friends. Priorities. I'm already building in the science next incursion with the Dyson Sphere. Which is something only a really, really massive empire could brag about. Hmm. On that note... Ooh. Okay, good. That's gonna diminish the construction time. Let's see, what else? More minerals. Construction facility. Oh, heck yeah. 50% construction templates. Give it to me. Heh, <laughs> nothing new. Oh wait, they had a habitat here? Oh, they had! He actually didn't notice that. Oh, really? Well, fair enough, I suppose. Ah. I guess it was the Void Clouds. I think. Maybe. Oh, it was one of the annoying ones, so... Not necessarily. Okay, by the way, how long? Yeah, fast enough. Okay, 24, next month. Eight, eight months. Hmm. 
Well, depending on how fast I'm doing this, it may actually be five. Okay, cool. Guy creation, now we're talking! Okay, thing, things seem to be going quite well. And I think I'm gonna stop using influence. I'm gonna need a lot of influence. To reassign them anyway. Okay, final acceleration. Our accelerators. All right, science nexus. You're finished. I don't need to keep an eye on you. So control five. I said, control five. Good. Okay, the next panel is being installed, making it slightly less awesome. Still, at the point of barely not touching it. That's funny. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, military academy. Now I can build one. I mean, a British program. Fair enough. Actually, why not? Alright, they're almost finished, so I should be able to go. It's a basically, it's basically, after you're done, uh, don't forget. <laughs> to run away. Oh, why are you kidding me? <laughs> Good thing they were distracted. Okay, boys, go, 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 go. Oh, I think I know what happened. Okay, good. Commencing password invasion. And stomp. Okay, good. Oh, binocular disruptors, quantum missiles, quantum stabilizers. All right, so that's worth it. Most definitely worth it. Hmm, 
proton torpedoes. Don't I already have the better version of that? <sighs> Alright, there's only one left. Get out. Ooh, right. I forgot about that. Wait, two more? Mining drone lasers. Oh, well. At least this one's going relatively fast. I know! We don't like you! Either. Okay, and... Now the infrastructure is all coming along. I mean, it's gonna be fun. Next episode, my fleets are gonna explode. With this much resources and production capabilities. So yeah, these somewhat uh, calmer episodes actually have their uses. I mean, calmer. I'm at all at war with several other empires, but hey. Not like they can do anything to threaten me. Hmm, Paradise Dome. Cool. Yeah, you're... You're good now. Alright, what did I get? Alright, fair enough. Next on the list. Let's see. More research alternatives. Improve the research. Benos. Simulation. The observatory. More power. Or of what? I mean, come on. What bonus? 10%? Heck yeah. Huh. Right, missiles. Not bad. Okay, now that's done. Let's go for a quick stomping. And then... Uh, right there. It's gonna be fast. All right. Well, I'll move. Just run. Wait, really? They didn't colonize all of them. You don't say. Well, thank you very much. Anyway, how long? 81 and... Uh, so, three months, and basically. Oh well. So, how are you doing? In desperate need of upgrades. Every single one of you. The reason I'm not upgrading just yet is because I want to put the money in mech structure, then I want to upgrade. Okay, good. Things are coming along nicely.
Okay, so... Three more, maybe two, depending on if the stomping that they're gonna get next is enough. We have to see, to see how futile their resistance is. Anyway, in the meantime, let's see how the Nexus are, is doing. <laughs> you know, this is kind of funny. Didn't make much chance, but it's kind of funny. Well, it doesn't make sense. Technically, you wouldn't you wouldn't build it like this. You'd be the if you use ah if you have used the initial structure to support. You'd start from the top to the bottom, not from the middle. You know, unless you had already configured the middle to be what you needed, and the things around were just supports, which. Obviously, in this case, it's not the case. So, yeah. Anyway, 15 more days before the upgrades can begin in earnest. Okay, two, one, and heck yeah, 75 flat. Next round, and the Dyson Sphere. Okay, that leaves me with 10k. Ah, who died? Scientist, really? Really? Fine. Meh, let them fight amongst each other. I'm cool with that. Okay, this guy's gonna get dead, so... <laughs> oh, it was a habitat. I didn't notice that. I mean, it's smart, they can't expand any further, so they are going tall. Which is, in a way, similar to what I've been doing and the game froze again. Frack. This is so annoying. Nope. Didn't then freeze it. <sighs> it's frustrating, really. <laughs> I just love this. This redonkulous number... I missed the rest, that actually makes kind of sense. Oh, I don't have defense armies. I need to remember that. These ring growth parts are quite important. I need to defend them well. Okay, already defended. Excellent. Next on the list is... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, wait. Before that. Uh... Can you do our research? <laughs> totally worth it. Anyway. I mean, 5k, that's... 4 to 3 months, depending on... How my fleets are doing. Okay, still going. They're still bombarding. Not smart. Hmm, let's see, what do you have? 
Huh, a lot of guns, very small guns, compared to what I'm bringing. To the table, anyway. Oh. Excellent. Ooh, Alien Zoo. That's gonna be fun. And profitable. Highly profitable. Okay, let's see. 84%. Are they done yet? No, I need two more planets. Okay, let's see. Two more planets. Alright, one of them. And... Well, you're already... Be ready to go after you're finished with them. And so, the slaughter begins in earnest. Let's face it, this would be terrifying, having massive fleets going around your space just wrecking everything and there wouldn't be a thing you could do because it just wouldn't have the weaponry to deal with it. And remember, they can research the Titan Wazer as well, guess they just didn't get lucky enough. Good for me, honestly, that would be a pain in the ass to deal with. Then again, the Titan Wazer are stupid expensive, that's why only my dreadnoughts have it. Well, Dreadnoughts, the SSD and the Galleons, I actually have Dreadnoughts. But you know, the Dreadnought, cl Dreadnought class. Okay, you're also going to the other one, excellent. So yeah, I should be able to finish this war comfortably this episode. Okay, cool. Who's an employed? Alright, you guys. I know I didn't... I mean, it's so annoying. It really is. Whatever. Those are the kind of stupid misclicks with no take backs that can screw your your run at the game. So there is well straight up slaughter, and after you, that's another straight up slaughter. Excellent. Oh, research. Been a while since I saw one of this. Okay, fair enough. Now let's see. Still building. Still building. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is definitely one of those roles where we wouldn't colonize. Just send our automatons and robots to get the resources and be and wash our hands off the planet. Since, you know, it wouldn't be really, really inhabitable, so it's like Titan, I mean Titan is excellent hub of industry due to the fact that it's so cold. But it's not really a place where you'd want to live. At much, uh, we'd put an habitat in orbit of the moon. 
But going down there? Nah, really isn't worth it. We're much better off just make fully automated uh, workstations and, you know, it's also a tourist attraction, but other than that, there's no real reason to put people in the, on the planet, uh, planet, on the moon. Oh, intriguing. Huh, I can't touch on a planet? Really? Really? Ah, car two hitboxes! Ah, the pain of gamers since, well, Super Mario Bros. 2, the real one, not the uh, Western version. Yeah, broadside upon broadside. Oh man, that's just funny. Okay, cool. <sighs> the main part is that I still gonna need another war to get the rest. Plus these guys. Plus eventually these guys. Let's investigate. Man, it has been. <laughs> wow. Not your best move. Most definitively, not your best move. Okay. We're beginning the siege of the last two planets. And soon. Well, first. Let's improve our energy production. You're cool. You guys are already overpowered as this. Dude, you're an engineering facility. What do you think I want from you? Another interesting thought is entire plan is dedicated solely to research. I mean, it, wouldn't, it isn't as silly as you may think. It's gonna probably at the beginning of the next century, it's gonna come a point where, you know, after. Asteroid mining kicks properly into gear, where we're gonna have so much resources that we quite literally won't know what to do with them. It will be like, sure, I suppose we could build ridiculously large things, but even then, those things take time. And doing stuff just because we can, even though it isn't something I, I can't see us doing, there's limits to it. For example, cities completely industrialized planet. Ooh, interesting. This would be completely automated. Mother population would build here, or you know. If they, if we went full Coruscant with it, at the higher levels, while the the droids, their automated sent systems, get the resources, and then eventually, once the planet has, well, pretty much been reduced to the shell of the habitation, we can just put a black hole inside. It's gonna take a lot of energy, but. It's doable. Arms. Gig cannon. Tempting. 
Actually, let's knock this one out. I can't believe I haven't done it yet. <laughs> wow. Unity Output, Shrine World. Damn! Totally worth it. It takes a bit, but boy is it worth it. And I remind you, that's a shrine to science since we're an atheist society. <sighs> Annoying. It's a pity though. It really is because... Those are good buildings. It's just... Not working. Hopefully the mod author fixes it in in 2.0. Really? <laughs> but let's not be around the bush. I'm investing a lot of minerals into this production. System surveyed. Ooh. Nice. But boy oh boy, the payoff when it finally comes is gonna be stupidly massive. Okay. Still doing the business. Okay, good. Lastly, but not least. No. Oh. Misclick. And with this one, I can't cancel. Actually, put the mine. Put the mine here. And get a bit of self sufficiency. Okay. Get ready to have the military academy. Oh, heck yeah! Where is it? And I think that's all. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and that's it. I'm gonna have another science nexus. A proper science nexus where it should be. Now, let's see, in around six days I'll have enough for the Dyson Sphere, the final part of the Dyson Sphere. <laughs> and then the world is gonna end. I have a stupid amount of both power and minerals to play with to expand my fleets to ridiculous amounts. 
And I'm gonna wait a bit before I increase these guys. Again, in hindsight, I should have gone with the mod that uses a building instead of the points. And so, the final battle. So, in the war for the corner of the galaxy, well, part of the corner of the galaxy, is approaching its end. Ah, and once the pits is done, I can get my science ships. It's back in business. They have plenty to research. Yeah, this one's gonna end first. There are more armies, but they're faster. Good. All right, time. And you're pretty much sick and tired of getting our asses kicked, right? Right. Excellent. And the response is... Come on, are you really going to make me... Well, considering... Yay! Victory! <laughs> okay, let's see. Nice. Quite nice indeed. Okay, now, first things first, take care of the sectors. Okay, good. Now. Not that one. Actually, yeah, sure. There's really no reason for them to be that separate, two separate entities. I mean, during by the hyper. Space lanes, there really isn't a reason for that. Okay, got that one. Now the question is do I create a separate one here or do I just use these two? Now let's just use them for now.
This will also be a massive pain later. Alright, before I forget. Okay, good. And the other one. Oh, I don't have... Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna have to conquer these guys before I can make it a full sector, so these ones will remain in my hands for now. Acceptable outcome. Okay, now... Okay, excellent. Now, thanks, Jeps. Okay, you guys go upgrade, and you guys go upgrade. Just so I can have you where I want. Now, not planted sectors, uh, species. Let's see, undesirable, set rights. Undesirable, so get out if it goes on worth the time of day. Yeah, you're still subservient. You guys haven't proven yourself. So, go, so get lost and try again. Dance, undesirables. Man, there's a lot of species that failed spectacularly. To impress me during the war. And as such, they can get lost since they don't really have anything to offer the Empire. Ah, uh, so... Ooh, I got, I got more storage. Interesting. I think I'm gonna end it here. You got a pretty stitch... the... well, almost end it here. Before that... There's something that needs to be taken care of. This is just a stopgap measure. I mean, immigration is going to take care of the rest. they were still here. How adorable. Hm. Okay, build pop. Okay, let's see. Next on the list. You know, just to maintain order. I'll take care of the rest. Hmm, clone vats. So they used cloning technology. Interesting. Okay. Go. Ah, 
Actually, I better let time pass so I can get more resources. I'm going to need them after all. I mean, I really conquered a lot of planets. Wow, really? Really? They build, wow, well, on top of alien pets. That's just cruel and unusual. Oh. Did I miss someone? Guess I missed a species, huh? Well, after I'm done here, I'll need to check that. <laughs> Beautiful, actually. Yeah, migration will take care of this one. Okay. Yeah, I missed some species. I was thinking that was strange. Okay, let me see. Which piece did I forget? Okay, drone, undesirable, undesirable. Get lost. Seriously, your showing in the war was truly pitiful. Didn't I tell you to get lost as well? Okay, that's all of them. So people, hope you enjoyed this episode where we're expanding our territory, our little corner of the galaxy, quite considerably. And next time, well, it will be time to build the armadas. Now that the war is over and all my infrastructure is well and truly up and running. So, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and well, we know the drill. Till then, I'll see you around. Ta-ta!